Another holiday weekend, another busy day at Folsom Lake. On the left, video of beachgoers at the start of Memorial Day when the state was just starting to lift some of the stay at home restrictions. Now, on the right there, video of the packed shoreline from today. Despite California's worsening coronavirus crisis, crowds are not staying away this 4th of July weekend. Thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis Ming. And I'm Adrian Moore. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman joins us live from Folsom Lake tonight with how park rangers there are handling enforcement. Marissa. Yeah, you guys saw that video. The beach here had been crowded since early this morning, so much so park rangers tell us they were at capacity already and had to turn some people away. At this point, though, some folks clearing out for the evening. Now, the strategy seems to be folks who want to keep their social distance staying farther from the water's edge. But as you head over to the rest, uh, towards the rest of the beach, towards the water's edge, you see massive tents, people from different families getting together uh, right here close to the water. We're told social distancing in the water is hard, and these crowds here are just expected to grow this weekend. Stay home. That's the message from Superintendent Richard Preston to those planning to head to Folsom Lake this weekend and not follow the rules. I know it's a big holiday weekend for everybody and they're used to traveling, but this is still not the time for those road trips to travel far outside your, your uh, home area. Despite that, massive tents full of people from different families pop up along the lake. People have already been turned away. Everybody's real close together. Um, I don't see really too much social distance, a little bit, you know. That's why we're out here, not right in there. But it's so packed, we were like, we can't even fit in over here just to park. And so we came right here. You don't see many masks, but you do see dancing. Montserrat Hernandez brought her family here, visiting from out of town for just this week, and something she knows is not recommended. She says it's even hard to isolate once you hit the water. Because we all want to get in the water, and it's a small, restricted area, because it's, it's a lake. We kind of like bump and stuff. To help meet the crowding and social distancing needs, the park is limited to 75% capacity. Memorial Day capacity was 100%. But Richard says despite trying to minimize crowds, enforcing social distancing on the beach is almost impossible. We'll do our best with the staff that we have, but honestly, it's, it's a really difficult thing for us to police. We're going to be looking for other types of violations. Yeah, those violations include alcohol and fireworks, both not allowed here at the beach. Still, all eyes will be here on the beach. And on the water this weekend, we're told, just like we saw today, expect long lines. If you do plan to come here, come here early, because if the beach hits capacity, you will be turned away.